Victor Wembanyama is definitely one of the NBA's main talking points in the 2023-24 season. The 7-4 rookie has been one of the most hyped-up prospects ever, and rightfully so. His combination of size, skills, and just raw talent make him a nightmare for opposing teams, especially for the coaches spending countless hours trying to game plan for him. With Wembanyama having some statement games already, let's hear what some of the NBA coaches have had to say about him. Tom Thibodeau is one of the better defensive masterminds in the NBA, currently the head coach of the New York Knicks, who have one of the best defenses in the league. Coach Thiebe has kept his reputation as a hard-nosed, defensive-minded coach who pushes his players to the absolute limit on that side of the floor. With him focusing so strongly on defense, he is probably one of the first people you should ask when trying to figure out how to approach Victor Wembanyama. However, even Thibs does not seem to have the definitive answer for that. I don't know if there, it was anything we we did. He had some good looks that he missed. I thought he, you know, the thing is, is he's so long and he moves the ball around too, like we, those plays that we gave him in the fourth quarter. Those were, those are good plays he made. You know, that's not, you know, not easy to, to finish like that. Um, but he's, he's, you know, the thing is, it's, He's impressive because his demeanor is so strong. He's, you know, things going his way, he's great. Things aren't going his way, still, he's even keel, he just keeps going. And, you know, like, I, that that team is, they're young and, and dangerous. And I think that, uh, you know, like, you, you never feel like the lead is safe because of, you know, the tempo they're playing with and the guys can go off the dribble. And, you know, obviously, they're, you know, working uh, Vassal back, but that team can spread you out pretty good. Jason Kidd has had the privilege of having coached two of the best European basketball players ever in Luka Doncic and Giannis Antetokounmpo. While Luka is not a freak of nature in any means, Giannis Antetokounmpo certainly is, rightfully gaining his Greek freak nickname. But even Giannis, who is a physical specimen, looks ordinary when compared to Victor Wembanyama's physical tools. When asked about who Victor Wembanyama's game reminds him of, Coach Jason Kidd did not have a clear answer. Uh, he's in a class of his own, 7'5". Uh, can put it on the floor, can shoot it, uh, can block shots, uh, can block jumpers. Um, so, I mean, uh, he, maybe a combination of, of Giannis and uh, I don't know who else. I mean, that's just... That's, that's the closest person I can, can I can think that I've worked with, that I've seen, you know, can put it on the floor, um, athletic, uh, defensively will block shots, um, and can shoot the three. So um, nothing against Giannis. Giannis didn't shoot the ball like like uh, Victor does, but um, he can he can you gotta be aware where he's at at all times on both sides of the floor. He then followed up the comparison going back in time a little bit more. He could be like Ralph. I, I wasn't in this, I was not that old, but. Um, <laughs> um, uh, uh, but Ralph was, Ralph was pretty special, you know, college and then uh, just injuries, uh, but he could be like Ralph. Ralph could handle, could shoot it. Um, yeah, so it maybe Ralph and Giannis combination. One of the best tacticians in the league, Rick is the current head coach of the Indiana Pacers, who have one of the best offenses of all time, as well as being number one in the league in the category. Rick knows how to coach greatness and how to coach against greatness as he has coached two of the Dallas Mavericks' biggest legends, Luka Doncic and Dirk Nowitzki, and was the head coach of the 2011 NBA Championship Mavericks squad. So he definitely has the experience and knowledge. Although he has never coached an elite defensive squad, Rick talked about the Pacers' successful defensive approach against Wembenyama, as they held him to 13 points on three of 12 shooting in their matchup on November 6th. Look, we just want to keep force in the game on him. Um, you know, both vertical force with with running, as well as you know, uh, as much as much hor horizontal force. Just you know, to not allow his center of gravity to get by us. If he gets by us, he's just gonna you know put his whole arm in the rim. You know, and on a dunk, it's just. I haven't, I haven't seen anything like it. No, no one has. Um, so, you know, he's a, 
know, he's an amazing young player, and he's a, he is a great player right now. Nick Nurse is one of the most unpredictable NBA coaches in terms of defensive scheming and rotations on the court. With his innovative defensive approach and the Sixers' personnel, they have one of the better matchups for Wemby and the Spurs. We have a four guys we've discussed that could, that could end up on him, and I think that there's enough going on where there'll be some switches made as well, so it could be more than that. I mean, I think it's, it's you know, most, not like anything, I mean, like most of the guys need to know, you know, um, know their personnel so that when you end up on him, you know, what is it that we're trying to do and what is it looking like behind him help-wise. What stood out to Nick Nurse were not the physical attributes nor the shooting, but a rare quality that not many players, especially of Wemby's size, have. Well, um, I think I think what jumped out at me, I mean, other than just kind of all, you know, he does the handling and the shooting and all that stuff, but that kind of that kind of jumped out at me a long time ago. But what jumped out at me most recently, I'm impressed at how he, how fast he cuts. Like he backdoor you a lot. He'll he'll come off screens with like like the pace of a, a wing player and move himself all the way across the floor to the other side of the lane, you know, with some with some pace and and his stop start for someone of his size has impressed me too. You know, he's heading one way, slams on the brakes and he's he's at the other way and usually he's usually going up and he's back at the front of the rim when he's back cutting like that, but he's obviously with the length. So that stuff that stood out to me. Despite all the planning. Victor managed to finish the game against the Sixers with 33 points on 10 of 19 shooting from the field. Although the Sixers came out on top with the win, coach Nick Nurse was really impressed by Wemby's performance. Yeah, first of all, I thought Victor was great. He, I think he really got him started, right? I thought he, he and I think that, that they've played a lot better recently. And it's usually when he comes out in the start of the game and, and kind of gets them, like, I think he gives them a bunch of confidence all around the the team, he certainly did that tonight, just right off the bat, just kind of bang and then banged a three. And, and, um, um, and I, you know, again, I think he was, you know, he was, he's long. I, like for me, I got this view when I'm sitting there on the bench and usually I can see Joel like being over everybody, you know, and that the, all, there's clearance. And I was like, said that early in the game, I said, hey, tonight's the first night there isn't, there, and Joel's actually got to go over somebody, you know, instead of, I could see the contests from where I was sitting, and I was like, that's different. I was, um, I mean, Joel does hold it in there and studies a little bit. He gets into his little, I, I, it's a little bit of dissecting the guys that they're reaching and stuff, so he does do that a little bit, um, but a little bit longer tonight, I think you're right. Steve Kerr has been the Golden State Warriors head coach for almost a decade now. With such a successful decade of basketball for him and the Warriors, Steve Kerr's name has been mentioned around the top NBA coaches' discussions. Although he has implemented great and innovative tactics on the floor, it is Kerr's ability to build strong relationships with the players and the coaching staff that have set him apart from the rest. And he never stops learning and trying to get better. In a chat with his ex-coach Greg Popovich, Steve Kerr talked a bit about the challenge of coaching the U.S. men's basketball team in the Olympics, as well as Pop's challenge of coaching Victor Wembanyama. Yeah, you know, we we played uh, the Spurs back to back uh, the last few days, uh, and and I had a chance to visit with Pop uh, before our game in San Francisco, and and then after the one in San Antonio, we're we're great friends. Um, he's uh, he remains a, a mentor for me. Um, you know, I'm coaching the Olympics this summer, and he was the Olympic coach, uh, you know, in 21. So I'm asking him his advice on that stuff. But I did ask him about Wembenyama, and he just he loves him. He said he's really coming along, and and he thinks he's going to be a great, great player. And uh, it's easy to see. I mean, he just um, there's never been anybody like him at that size with that skill. Um, and uh, yeah, the dunk by Trace the other night was was just uh, one of the plays of the year. Just uh, I don't know how Trace got it over the top of of uh, Victor. I mean, that that's I didn't know it was humanly possible. Mike Malone has built a name for himself as the Denver Nuggets head coach. Coach Malone was named the Nuggets head coach at the same time that Nikola Jokic got there, and the two have slowly but surely taken over the league. There are not many guys who can challenge Nikola, but Victor Wembanyama has already proven that he has got what it takes to be in that short list of elite defenders. Uh, with his unique length and shot blocking ability, yeah, he's um, you know he's the future of the NBA. I mean, uh, we're watching. Uh, the ascension of the next great player in the NBA. And, uh, you know, for him to go out there, 23 points, 
uh, 15 rebounds, nine blocks, eight assists. You know, there's not a lot that that young man cannot do. So, um, and he's in the right organization with the right coach to help him get better and learn. And uh, so, yeah, he's a, he's a hell of a talent. While game planning against Victor Wembanyama is surely difficult, being tasked with developing and coaching him may be an even bigger challenge. Luckily, Victor was drafted by the most fitting NBA franchise when it comes to developing international talents. Coach Greg Popovich is currently the most experienced NBA coach, with over three decades of coaching in the NBA and developing great players like Tim Duncan, Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker, Kawhi Leonard, as well as many others. Coach Pop is known to be hard on his players when they don't follow his guidance. However, even he has admitted that he cannot be as hard on Wembenyama because there is just so much potential in the kid. I'm sure I do, you know, I, I do. Because, you know, when you're looking at a young kid, if he turns it over, he doesn't catch it strong, I'm on his ass. You know, when you look at the stats, you go, what, are you crazy? You know, but uh, it just shows what he's going to be uh, when he understands all the physicality that's coming at him all the time and what to do about it. Uh, fortunately, uh, he's also a hell of an instinctive passer and he's willing to do what he needs to do in that regard, so uh, he's, he's pretty special. However, what many people have ranted about is that the Spurs seem to be avoiding Wemby on offense and not run enough plays for him. Whether that is or is not the case does not really matter. Coach Pop still addressed the situation and indirectly praised Victor's performance. I called one play for him all night, and I think he got over 20. Uh, he just did that because he's a good basketball player and he understands how to play. Portland Trail Blazers coach Chauncey Billups was one of the toughest players during his playing days. Chauncey was known as one of the clutchest players in the NBA, rightfully deserving his Mr. Big Shot nickname. However, even he advises his players to think twice when shooting the ball when Victor Wembanyama is on the court. Well, the biggest thing that I would say is, that, as I've told our guys, is when you go to the paint, have a plan. Have a plan. Because he's gonna be there. Um, and sometimes you don't even know that he's there. He could be behind you or he could be looking like he's out there guarding the three-point line and before you know it, he's there. And he's blocking a shot. He has seven against us in the first game we played. So you gotta have a plan. And for me, if a coach told me that, that would mean just passing. <laughs> so I don't know what it means to my guys. <laughs> but that that is uh, it's probably a good plan against them. Ty Lue quickly became recognized as one of the smartest head coaches in the NBA. He got the LA Clippers head coach's position after the organization fired Doc Rivers, who blew another 3-1 lead in the playoffs against the Denver Nuggets. Ever since then, Ty Lue has led the Clippers and things seem to have turned for the better. Ty Lu is known for his in-game adjustments and his ability to lead his team to big comebacks during games. However, even for a tactician of Lue's caliber, it is difficult to game plan for a guy like Victor Wembenyama. He's a problem. You know, offensive rebounds, if he gets behind the defense, um, his ability to, to handle the basketball. Um, I really got to go back and watch it because I wasn't really just focused on him. I'm really watching the whole game. But, you know, he's a super talent, you know, and so... Um, he causes some problems, you know, he can be a pick and pop five, he can be a four that's seven five, you gotta guard him with a smaller guy. So it's a lot of things he can do on the floor that puts you in some tough situations. And he like say he's a great player and um, he's only gonna get better. Toronto Raptors head coach Darko Rajakovic is currently the only European NBA head coach. His European approach to the game is visible in times when he lets his players decide what to play on the floor instead of being robotic. The trust he has in his players is what has made him a successful NBA coach. Darko trusts his players and their skill sets, but even he is aware that they are not going to be able to shut down Victor Wembanyama completely. Darko has a high level of respect for Victor and his game. Wembanyama is the player who's going to play in this league uh, for the next uh, 15 years, so uh, we need to figure out how to tech and how to play against him, and uh, definitely a player who is unique with his size and, and uh, shot-blocking ability, uh, so uh, we got to do a much better job of figuring out how to play against that. Victor Wembanyama is here to stay. With him being only 20 years old, there are a lot of seasons ahead of him. With his work ethic and approach to the game, it will be no surprise to see him dominate the league for more than a decade from now and even become the league's top player. Let's hope for the best for Victor's career and future in the NBA.